a trim tool, you want to come up to this little button here, get underneath and pop that up. Once that's up, go ahead and pry it out. Use a 10 millimeter socket, go ahead and remove this bolt. Once that's done, repeat for the other side. You want to go ahead and grab the top of the grill, release the little latch clips across the top, lift it up, and set that aside. Across the bottom of the bumper, you're going to find a series of these plastic clips or push pins. You want to go ahead and use your trim tool. You want to get the center of these to pop out. Across the bottom of the bumper, you're going to find a series of these uh, push pin lock clips. You're going to use a trim tool. You want to get underneath and pop out the center. Once the center pin is loose, we'll be able to go ahead and push the whole unit right out. Once you get these coming out, go ahead and repeat across the whole bottom of the bumper, right around to the other side. All right, now what you want to do is reach in behind the side of the bumper and gently tug away. And what you're doing is dislodging the bumper from the little lock tabs here. Work this out and then repeat for the passenger side. Go ahead and grab the bumper. When you pull the bumper out, if your vehicle is equipped with fog lights, you can see the connector right here. You can do this from up top or from underneath. You want to just press in on the tab right here, or you can simply twist the bulb out like so. Repeat for the other side. And go ahead and grab the bumper and pull that off. I'm going to go ahead and bring our bumper back into place. Grab our fog light, line that up into the back of the lamp assembly, twist that in, repeat for the other side. I'm going to bring that bumper up and into the notch underneath the headlamp. Do the same on the driver's side. Bring up the molding here, push that in, and just nudge it with your leg. Here we go. Go ahead and put in some of our locks here. And reinstall all these plastic push pins and do this on the passenger side and then continue across the front and finish up on the driver's side. Go ahead and install our 10 millimeter bolt here. Install our plastic retainer clip. Push our lock tab in and repeat for the other side. And go ahead and tighten down the bolts. We 
sure our grill is clipped in across the top, and you're all set.